watch me build a simple two bedroom house in nairobi for 25,000 us dollars that is kenya shillings 2.5 million using my online earnings to accomplish this project if you're wondering how you have to watch this video up to the very end i started teaching on italki.com sometime in um, late january 2021 early february and currently i have about 406 us dollars available balance on my account i also run an etsy shop that i started sometime in 2017 so far the revenue has been around 4787 about half a million kenya shillings hello guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is Eva Mtali and on this channel we talk about all things making money online, passive income opportunities and side hustle opportunities as well. So if any of those topics sound interesting to you, you want to hit the subscribe button below and once you have done so, you want to hit the notification bell as well so that every single time I shoot a new video, you do not miss out. In today's video, I'm going to break it down for you how I intend to conquer this challenge of building a simple two-bedroom house in Nairobi, Kenya and my budget is 25,000 US dollars that is Kenya shillings 2.5 million and actually when I talked to some of the contractors they gave me a figure of about 45,000 US dollars that is 4.5 million Kenya shillings but I am determined to get the house of my dreams a two-bedroom house it's basically like what they call banga loft it has one bedroom down and then it has a loft which will act as a second bedroom and my target is not to spend more than 2.5 million kenya shillings that is 25,000 us dollars and i intend to use money from my online earnings to pay for some of my building costs i intend to build the house in about six months so my target is to move into the house by December of 2021 God willing and this may happen within that period it may happen earlier but that is my dream it may take a little more than the 2.5 million Kenya shillings 25,000 US dollars that I have budgeted I have seen ridiculous prices for houses but we will never know if we don't try so I'm just gonna go with the challenge if you think this challenge is achievable let me know in the comment section below if you don't think it's possible also I would like to hear your input i would like to get your feedback because it might be helpful for me in this journey the main reason why i'm sharing you this video is just to let you know that there is opportunity in the online world and it is to show you that if you keep your money long enough and you just keep accumulating it in the long run it becomes substantive enough for you to, to do something reasonable you might get on to the online working platform and just think you're gonna do it for the side but you could end up doing something big it may not be a house but it could be like a piece of land it could be a car it could be paying for your university education or something for your kids or something that you can see with it and as usual for me all my videos is about sharing my own stories because I can stand by them I can vouch by them that's why I'm sharing my story and how working online is gonna make a difference in my life and I know it can make a difference in your life as well I expect to document my journey on YouTube from the very beginning where everything is going to start that is getting the approvals from Mavoko County because I am building my house um, in an area called Siokimau, it's a little outside of Nairobi, about 25 kilometers, give and take. I'm going to share with you that process step by step. I have already started, so you need to check the next video for what it takes to get approval, what documents do you need, how much does it cost. I'm going to be talking about all that as well. And then how I chose my architect. I actually found my architect on a facebook group and i'm also going to do a video on how that process worked 
why did i go with this architect and thought and not the others that are available why didn't i pick just an architect you know go through like a physical office i'm going to talk about that as well in another video i will also share with you the floor plan the architectural designs i will share with you the 3d uh, model of the house i will even put an entire video of how my um house is expected to look like and i will bring you along when i go to purchase the different building materials i will share with you the cost of everything i will talk about the building process definitely from the groundbreaking all the way to when i move in so you want to stick along for that journey and also when we do all the finishes and all the furnishings for the house i want to take you along so we are going to see step by step process from how to fund your house building in nairobi in kenya all the way to when you get in i'm gonna document that entire journey so how am i going to do this how do i plan to achieve my dream of building a two-bedroom house using my online earnings first of all i have decided i'm gonna build my house really first if there's anything i have learned in this country is that the only constant is change like prices in this country are ridiculous one minute you're buying fuel for 100 shillings a liter and the next minute it's 120 and that obviously affects the price of everything else. So my plan is to build the house really, really, really fast and my target is in six months. Hopefully that is going to happen. I'm still debating on my options. I could either hire a contractor to do that entire process for me of making sure the house is built, everything is on time or I could source for the materials myself and do the supervision. I'm still toying around with the options. If I can find a contractor who will give me a house for my budget of 25,000 US dollars, then I'm happy to hire one. So I have several side hustles. If you have been following me on social media or you have been following me long enough on YouTube, you know I have like so many side hustles going on. And um, the thing is most of this online work doesn't give you a lot of money at once but the secret and that's what i have been using i have been accumulating the money when i make the money i don't withdraw it immediately and fortunately for me i have a regular day job so i have the luxury of making money online and not having to take out that money so for example i have been on etsy.com platform um, since 2017 and I have been making money on that platform so I intend to use my money from that as well if you're interested to find out what Etsy is all about I have a series of videos up here that covers everything from how you register on Etsy all the way to how you ship out your products it's basically a platform which brings together people who love handmade products and those who make them and bring them together to purchase them. So far, the revenue has been around 4,787, about half a million Kenya shillings. Of course, there's been ups and downs in between, especially last year because of COVID, I didn't have as much sales. The peak was in uh, 2019. They're about 2019. And then I recently started working on italki.com platform where i teach my native language the lua and kiswahili to different learners and i get paid to do that and i'm gonna be using money from that and currently i have about 406 us dollars available balance on my account and i also have other students who have booked classes i have about 10 classes for the remaining parts of April that will be around uh, 500 US dollars. I also have my blog ivamtali.com that brings in some little money and I'm going to be using that money as well. Pizoic is uh, one of those platforms that I also recently joined. It's an advertising management platform so basically works sort of like Google AdSense and when you sign up with them they put advertisements on your website and when people click on them you get paid so i've been there for about a month now so i'm not making too much money but it all adds up so like march 1 to march 31st 
I got $43. This is about, I think, 5,000 Kenya shillings. If you do that over um, like a year, it comes to about 60 thousand shillings which i don't think is a little money let me just see what the performance has been this month so that i can compare how much to expect so we are on the 21st and i have about 20 us dollars so it's gonna be about the same amount at the end of the month about 40 us dollars or thereabout so all these platforms pay me via paypal so i'm gonna take out the money from paypal and uh, convert it to kenya shillings so i can be able to pay for the building costs of my house the money that i have is not enough for the twenty-five thousand us dollars that i need but it's definitely going to go a long way in addition to my savings from my online earnings, I plan to also use some money that I have been keeping aside from my regular job. So you want to hit the notification bell because we're going to be having a lot of videos documenting my journey, um, building this house, using my online income, as well as additional money from my other savings. And I'm happy for you to join me along in this journey. That brings me to the end of this video. Thank you for staying up to the very end. I definitely look forward to meeting you in part two in this series where I'm going to share with you the approval process at Mavoko County. Bye-bye.